Hey everyone, I'm Becca and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add subtitles to your videos quickly and easily using Veed's automatic subtitle generator. Adding subtitles to your videos is a great way to be inclusive and be accessible to more of your audience and also a majority of people who watch videos on their phones do so without sound. You can find Veed by searching V-E-E-D into your search engine or you can sign up with the link in the description for free today. Once you have signed up and logged into Veed, you'll be prompted to create a new project and upload your video footage. To begin adding subtitles, head over to the sidebar on the left and click the subtitles tab. This will open up the subtitles window. You can see here that I have three different options to use. The first being uploading a subtitle file that you may already have for the video. The second is to manually write out the subtitles yourself, but this is quite time consuming. And the top option is to auto transcribe, which uses the audio from your video footage to automatically generate subtitles. So if I go ahead and click the auto transcribe button, I can then select which language I'm speaking and I'm speaking English from Great Britain and just make sure that you are using the selected video and then hit start and Veed will automatically transcribe your subtitles. This may take a couple of seconds to a few minutes, depending on how long the footage is you want to transcribe. Once Veed has automatically generated the subtitles, you can see that they are on top of your video footage here in the timeline. I'm now just going to press play and if there are any mistakes in the subtitles, we can easily change them. Hey everyone, I'm Becca and I'm using Veed's auto subtitle generator to create the subtitles in this video. Okay, there are a couple of mistakes, but it's very easy to change them. So the first mistake is my name and to change this, all you have to do is head to the text box and type in the correct spelling. I also know that this is incorrect as it is meant to be Veed's. So I'm going to change that as well. I also want the word generator in the first subtitle box. So I'm just going to copy and paste it from the second one by pressing control C and then deleting that and then control V to paste it up there. I'm now just going to play that back and check that over. Hey everyone, I'm Becca and I'm using Veed's auto subtitle generator to create the subtitles in this video. You can now see that the timing for the word generator is very short, but it's easy to extend that and make it longer. There are a couple of ways I can do this. The first is just by dragging the text box along the timeline. Another way of adjusting the duration of the subtitles is by placing the playhead where you want it, selecting the subtitle box, and then clicking on the stopwatch button, and Veed will automatically cut to where your play button head is. You can now see that the spelling and the timings are correct. Now it's time to play around with the style. If I head over to the styles tab, it will open up a selection of different things I can use. I can change the font, I can change the size, and I can even change the color. If I want to be more specific, I can change the letter spacing and the case as well. If I scroll down, I also have the option of changing how the text box looks. So I could have it line by line, or I could even have it without a background. I can also adjust the text box by clicking on the text itself and dragging using the buttons on the side. I'm now just going to drag my playhead button to the beginning and press play so I can just make sure that I'm happy with the final video. Hey everyone, I'm Becca and I'm using Veed's auto subtitle generator to create the subtitles in this video. I'm happy with that. So if I wanted to download the subtitles as a file, head over to the options tab and select the file format that I want to save them in and then press the download button. If you want to download the video and share it on social media, head to the top right and press the export button. You can then click the drop down menu and select which file you want to export as. I'm going to select HD and make sure that you have the burn subtitles button highlighted, otherwise your subtitles won't be included. And then when you're ready, press export video. Veed will then automatically render your video. This could take a couple of seconds to a few minutes. This depends on your Wi-Fi speed and the file size that you are trying to render. Once your video has been rendered, you can hit play again just to make sure you're happy with that. If you do wish to change something in your video, hit the edit video button and this will take you back into the Veed editing studio. However, if you are happy with your video, hit the download MP4 button and Veed will automatically download it and save it to your computer. And that's how you use an automatic subtitle generator. Don't forget, you can sign up to Veed for free with the link in the description. And for more easy to follow editing tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.